Would you like to automatically save your form data into a Word document? Let me show you how with make.com. Hey Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and there are a ton of different use cases that you could use this for. For this example, I'm going to use this as if someone is filling out a contract and at the end it spits out the contract with things that they have entered in through the jot form. Now before we do this, there are three things that you need in order to make this work. The first thing is going to be a form and I have one pulled up. It's very basic, very general. It's just their name, their email and their address. Now, one thing that we need from this form in order to make this work is whenever we click on any of the form elements, we're going to click on the properties then advance. And if we scroll all the way down to the field details, we can see the unique name. So we can see for the name field, the unique name is name. And it's going to be the same for the email and the address fields. Their unique names are email and address. So just be sure whatever elements you decide to bring into your form, come over here to the field details to see exactly what the unique name is, because we're going to need that in the next step. The next step is to create a pretty much template in a Word doc. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one up. And like I said, we're gonna make this look like a contract. So I have their name and within the Word document, we need two curly brackets, not just one. So I have the name, the address, city, state, zip, country, and email. And so from here, this is good. I'm gonna go ahead and go file, save as, then download a copy. Download a copy of this one, perfect. Now, the next step in this, we have JotForm, we have Word. Next, we have Dropbox that we're going to need. So I'm gonna go ahead and head to my Dropbox account and I'm going to upload that Word contract file that I just downloaded. Over here on the right, we're going to upload a file, contract, then open. Yes, I want it in the main folder, upload, perfect. So let's check on our main folder. And there it is. All right, so the next step in this is we need to go to make.com. And make.com is formerly Integromat. So if you've used that before, this might feel familiar. So I went ahead and I've logged in. If you don't already have an account, you'll want to create one. The first thing you wanna do is we want to create a new scenario. So up in the top right-hand corner, I'm gonna click on this purple create a new scenario button. Now it is telling us to click here. So the first thing we want to add is JotForm. So we're gonna start with JotForm and just do a quick search, perfect. Jot form, and we want make to watch for submissions. Now we need a web hook. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on add. And if this is your first time doing this, you're going to need your jot form API. This is very simple to find. Let me show you real quick. Whenever you're over in jot form, just click on your avatar in the top right corner, head to settings. And one of the tabs is API. So let me head back to make. Mine's already connected. I have my JotForm connection and now it wants me to choose which form I want to have make.com watch. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my contract form and click save. Then we click OK. Then right next to JotForm, we have that little gray circle. And if we hover over it, it says add another module. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and we need to add Dropbox. So I'm going to go ahead and do add another module and do a quick search for Dropbox. We'll select that and we want it to download a file. And again, if this is your first time utilizing this and your first time syncing Dropbox with Make, it's going to have a pop-up and it's gonna ask you to allow, which I have already done. So the next is going to be the way of selecting the file. So we want to select a file and we want to choose that contract form that we had. So we had put that file in the main folder. We're going to click the add again and there's contract. Perfect, so let's go ahead and click okay. So now I want to add another module. I'm going to go ahead and click the plus. Next, we need Microsoft Word. We can see it's right here. If it's not, you can go ahead and search for it. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Microsoft Word templates, and we want it to fill out a document for us. So we can see that it's already going to be putting it in that Dropbox file for us. Now, what do we want the name of this file to be? I want this to be contract and then their name right here. Perfect. And then the source data is form, perfect. So here is where we map out those curly brackets. So the name, the email, the address, the city, state, zip, all of that within here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that. So we see values, add an item. So the first thing we wanna do is we want it to look for a value. And then the key, this is just what we wanna call it, is going to be the name. And then we have the name here, perfect. We'll add another item, value, this is going to be the address and then the value is address and then add one more item 
value, email, and then we'll choose the email address right there. Perfect. And then we are good to go. I'm gonna go and click okay. Now, one last step. We're gonna add another module and we need for this to pretty much put that file in Dropbox for us. And we want to upload a file. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on upload a file. We already have my Dropbox. We're gonna choose the folder that we want it to go into. I want it to go into main. And then where it says file, it's automatically gonna be on Dropbox, but we want it to be the Microsoft Word template. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this, then okay. Now, from here down at the very bottom of the screen, we have our controls, we have the save button. I'm gonna go ahead and click save here. The scenario was saved. We need to make sure to turn it on. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. And if you wanna do a test run, you can, but let's go ahead, let me pop into, we have our main Dropbox here. Let's go ahead to our form. Let's publish, open a new tab, and let's fill this out and submit it to see if it worked. All right, good deal. We'll do a submit, and let's head over to our Dropbox. And there we are. Let's go ahead and open this and take a peek. And there we go. It's as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing make.com to save all of your form submissions in a Word template, let us know, and I'll see you next time.